This video is about how to begin your painting after you have sketched everything out on your canvas. When we paint something with acrylic paint, we typically build from the background up and we begin our paintings by color blocking our image. Since acrylic paint typically needs more than one coat, we start our first coat with just all of the main colors. So you're not worrying about a lot of textures and values quite yet. You're just getting in one layer of all of the main colors in your painting. Most of the time you're going to start with the least amount of detail and then build up to the most amount of detail. So we're building um, back to front, less detail to more detail. I like to begin in everything with a clean palette and with my reference image nice and handy. So if I'm going to start um, mixing my colors, I'm going to look for all of the big spots of color and then just start mixing wherever you feel most comfortable mixing. In this image you can see that I'm in a variety of different spots, but I'm going to start out by mixing all of my color blocking areas. I've got my gray already mixed and I'm going to start mixing my blue and painting that in there. I like to put tin foil in the bottom of my palette so that I can swap it out once I'm done with a color and I can also put wet paper towel underneath to save my color over multiple days. I'm going to start by pulling some of my colors to my palette. Notice that there's two different blues and two different reds. They do two different things. So if you can't figure out um, the color using one of the blues, switch to the other blue. Same thing with the red. So I'm pulling a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow knowing that the blue I'm mixing is a little more teal. I start with my lightest color first, so I start with my yellow and then I slowly add the blue in. Now you can see that um, the one on the left gave me a little more of a muddy mix. That's because that is a warmer blue with more red in it. So when I use the lighter blue with more green in it, it worked a lot better to mix the turquoise color I'm looking for. Since it's a light blue, I'm going to add a little bit of white into it and then I'm just adding blue and yellow until I get the right shade looking at my reference image and then painting it onto my canvas. I like to use a flat brush to paint any lines that need to be really, really smooth. The side of your flat brush is going to do a lot. Remember that this is just your first layer and it's gonna require more than one layer to build up your painting. You should plan to save your colors over multiple days, so put some wet paper towel under your tin foil and go ahead and keep it throughout the class periods. Make sure the lid goes on nice and tight. Here I'm gonna show you another example using these pumpkin so I've got my image all sketched, I've got my palette ready with all my primary colors and some neutrals, and then I've also got my reference image ready. I'm going to tackle the orange pumpkin today, so my palette is all ready and I'm going to use a separate sheet of paper for mixing. You can use a magazine page from the back for this step. I'm starting with my lighter color, so I know that orange needs both red and yellow, so I'm going to start with yellow. It's also a really large pumpkin, so I'm going to need a lot of it, um, so I'm using quite a bit of my colors. And then I'm also going to add in a little bit of blue, because anytime I need to neutralize or tone down a color, I'm going to add the opposite color. So the opposite color for orange is blue, and I'm going to add a little bit of blue to make it more of a neutral color. This can also add in your browns. If you can't figure out which colors you need, don't be afraid to try different colors. Don't be afraid to try opposite colors, so complementary colors, or adding in white or black to kind of tint your color. To check and see if my color is right, I'm going to keep taking my paintbrush and I'm going to check it against my image and see if I've hit the right color yet, and if not, I can keep tinting it. But once I'm happy with my color, I'm going to take it and I'm going to start to paint my main shape. Remember that I'm not adding in any values, I'm just getting that first layer in during the color blocking phase. If there's lots of texture in there, you're just getting that background color. So pick a background color, you can make it a little lighter than it normally would be, but you're going to paint the whole thing using that one background color to get your first layer in. A little water to make it thinner, but you're going to build from the background up and you're painting your main colors first, and this is called color blocking. And once you're done color blocking your whole image, then you're ready to move on to the next step. 